Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah if you are new here and today we are doing episode number three of my Never Too Small series where we build tiny homes from the YouTube channel called Never Too Small. On their channel they tour tiny homes that have smart solutions for storage and multi-use objects in like small spaces. So I like to build them in The Sims because it gets me really inspired. It's very late for me right now. I'm cozy. I'm chilling. I've kind of built the exterior of the house already because I knew it was gonna take me forever. <laughs> but yeah, let me show you guys which house we are doing. So this is called a Japanese style small seaside apartment. So I am building this in Mount Kamarebi. I love this so much, you guys. Look at this. Look at this kitchen right now. There's stairs going up the counters into a raised living or a raised bedroom. There's a glass divider with this really cool wall plant, the black fixtures. I love the wood paneling. Everything about this house is like, it just makes my heart very, very happy. And it seems like every single house that we have seen so far has been in Australia. So I'm thinking this might be an Australian YouTube channel. I'm not really sure, but let me show you guys the rest of the house here. This is the floor plan, which I've already built because I just had a feeling it was going to take me a while and it did. So if I did build it on camera, it would have taken me absolutely forever. I did do a little speed build though, which I'll show you uh, in a minute. But um, yeah, let's have a look at the rest of the house, shall we? So we have this kitchen area that you guys have seen already. This is a little meditation room right off of the bedroom. This is like the little entryway, hallway. There's no couch, which I find very interesting. The couch is that raised platform right there with the pillows. Um, they, they say what kind of uh, seating area it is in the video, but I can't remember right now. But this is the little living room slash dining room. That's the door to the bathroom. Um, yeah, I just think this is really freaking cool. I was very excited to film this and I did use some rounded walls for this like dining area. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you can see him sitting here watching TV. <laughs> Here's another shot of the dining area, which is really cool. I love all like the natural light that comes in. Here is that bedroom that's on the platform. I wish we could do this in The Sims. I wish we could make indents in the wall. This is the entryway to the meditation room from the bedroom and then on the other way from the front door is the guest bedroom i love all the natural woods and the plants and then there's this like hidden uh desk area in this room as well right here behind this like little wall and curtain and then the bathroom a lot again lots of natural woods and dark uh fixtures obsessed 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 so yeah guys this is what we are going to be building today i hope that you are as excited as i am i just really love the aesthetic of this house and i just find the build to be very unique i will show you guys the speed build of the exterior and the walls right now um this took me a minute <laughs> it's really hard to gauge for me at least like how big something needs to be like for the beds and the table and stuff. So I kind of just wing it and that's why it takes me so long. I also added the uh, wallpaper, the flooring. I added the glass divider and the curtain already as well, just because <laughs> I knew it was gonna take a lot of like trial and error and uh, finagling with the platforms. I also did the exterior of the house because <laughs> If you know me, you know that I hate doing exteriors. I'm very, very bad at building house shells. I prefer decorating them. If you are new here, that's the stitch with that. So um, yeah, whenever someone watches me uh, like decorate the exterior or whenever like I'm like doing an exterior on Twitch or doing it even live on a YouTube video, I just feel incredibly stressed because I feel like I'm doing really bad and everyone is judging me. <laughs> so I like to do it in my own time and take my time and make it look pretty and then just show you guys the uh, finished product after that. So yeah, that's why I did that. Um, and it usually takes me a really long time. So I would rather show you guys in this like fast way <laughs> and then uh, we can get into the good stuff.
Okay, so here is the finished outside. It is quite funky. I, I'm still getting used to roofing and like, you know, all that kind of stuff. But um, inside we have all the walls built, everything is painted, all the windows are placed, all the doors are placed. We've got our stairs and our curtain and our glass divider. So I think I'm going to start in the kitchen here. And with this build, I am using CC. There are things that I need that are CC um, for this build specifically. So I apologize. I usually don't like to use CC on uh, these for these builds, but it was kind of necessary for this one. And a couple of you guys have been requesting that I do a build with CC just because you want to see like how exact I can get it. And I get that. I'm gonna be using this sink from Ravachin, absolutely beautiful. And then for the oven, we're gonna do, or the stove, I mean. We're gonna do, let's see here. Let's move that over, grab another one, put that there, okay. And then we need a gas range or whatever they're called. Which one do we wanna use? A nice black one. Yes, this one will do just fine. Okay. And then we need a little oven. Um, they use a oven that's inside. Yeah, let's put it over here. Most of the CC I use is by Felix Andre and Harry or Peacemaker. So if you guys need any of this stuff, that's where you can find it. Oh, also Pierre Sim. Pierre Sim makes some really nice, uh, really nice CC actually. Oh, also I have some little Dika items as well. Hey, now let's go ahead and work on this dining area. They have a round table that is completely made of wood and wood chairs as well. There's a lot of wood in this house. I, I like it a lot. The round tables that come in the game, I am... I don't know. I don't really use them often. We might have to use a square table because I don't think I have a round one that uh, goes well with this house. Unless, yeah, no. I do have this one that we can use. It is CC, but um, I think this is the closest that we are going to get. I also have this one, which I really like. I might have to go with that, actually. The chairs look a lot like these from Peacemaker. So I'm going to... Let's see here. That could work really nice. We also have this variation here. I think we're gonna have to go with the circle one. Yeah, just like that. And then in the center of the table, they have this like glass jar with a twig sticking out. I don't think I have anything like that. I just need a plant with a clear vase. I think that'll do fine. We have this one from Paranormal. Wait a minute. I think I do have something like that. It's just not in the plant section for some reason. It's quite nice being able to use CC. Usually I have to sift through all of my stuff <laughs> to find things that's not to find things that aren't CC, but I gotta tell you, it's a whole new experience being able to use it. I usually don't use CC because I want everyone to be able to uh, download the house, you know what I mean? But I might, I might, I might, depending on how much time I have, I might uh, re remake it without any CC and have two versions, a CC one and a non-CC one. Oh my, oh, here it is, here it is, here it is. This is by 6MCC. Yeah, I think that'll do. I think that'll do nicely. And then above the dining table, there is a a nice hanging lamp. It's like a lantern almost. There is this one as well. This is a Peacemaker lantern. Oh no, which one do I like better? I think I'm gonna have to go with that one. I think I'm gonna have to go with that one. And the lamps, no, the windows back there have very nice sheer curtains in front of them. I can use these curtains by line. Um, oh, these are actually quite nice. I love, love, love how sheer they are. Yeah, that looks really good. Okay, next order of business is the TV on the wall. It's quite low. I'm hoping it'll let me, yeah, it will. Can I size this down? Not really. Okay. Should I just do this one then? I can size down this one. All right. That's fine. That's fine. There is nothing else above there. <laughs> Maybe I can put the thermostat there or something. 
just to fill in the space a little bit. Oh yeah, we also need a fire alarm, which I'm just going to pop right there. Okay, now, cha 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 la la la. We need some kind of curtains on these windows as well. Oh, we can just do these really nice blinds from my first pet stuff. This is the only reason why I suggest this pack is for those blinds because they're so very nice. Okay, and then over here, there's just like pillows on the floor used as just like a little seating area. So I'm going to use these ones from the Oak House, Oak House Collection by Pierre Sim. I love these so much. This, this pack is just really good. And I'm also going to throw in like one of those stacks of pillows or maybe even a poof. I think I might sell that and just put this instead. I don't know. Or maybe move that over, put this here. Okay, let's move on to this back bedroom over here. So when you walk up the stairs, we you just have this little area right here. In this build, they just put like a wall plant. I'm not really sure how we're gonna do that because it's literally a bonsai tree that's like coming out of the wall. I have this one. If I had the tool mod, I could rotate it, but I don't. And I don't know how to use it, therefore... <sighs> yeah, we're not going to be doing that today, but if you can do it and you want to show me how it looks, by all means, please do. That looks kind of cool, just having um, plants just be there like that. That looks cool. And then down the stairs here, we just have a bed with a nice like mirror on the wall. I'm going to use this mirror that was used in the kitchen and it just goes straight across the wall. This mirror, by the way, is uh, who makes this mirror? Simple Reflections. I think this might be a little from the Lil Dika bath bathroom pack. I was able to fix my beds, by the way, y'all. I used the Sim 4 Studio and did a batch fix and everything's fine now. So with this bed, the bedding is just on the floor. I don't know if that is doable in The Sims. Um, I wonder if I have a platform that's just like straight to the floor. Or not a platform, a bed frame, I mean. My mistake, my mistake, my mistake. Double bed base, okay. I think this might work, but it's massive. I guess they're all massive. I guess I made the room too small, huh? Oh well, as long as they can like make their way to bed and through this little doorway, I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? I am using the bedding from the Oak House collection as well. Really, really, really love that collection. If you haven't downloaded it yet and you are a CC person, highly recommend, super good. Going to add some pillows up against the wall here because that's how the bed looks in the video. feel like this bedding might be a little bit too busy now that I am looking better. Maybe we should just use the plain white one from Peacemaker. Or even this one's really nice too. I love the linen texture. Okay, and then next to the bed, we've got a couple of wall lights and those indented shelves, which I'm so sad that we can't do. I tried to look it up on YouTube if there was a way to like make indents in the wall, but alas, there is not. The light is just a little round bulbous thing that almost looks exactly like this. And it is too big. Ooh, but we're able to size it down. Perfect. Just like that. And I'm gonna delete the ceiling light. Oh, there isn't a ceiling light in here. Okay then. Ooh, that looks kind of cool with the light being on the mirror like that. I kind of like that and that'll leave us room for shelves next to the bed. Cool, that looks pretty good. Put a little plant here in the corner, make sure it's not floating and we're good. <laughs> All right, so the bedroom is really very simple. That is it. Moving into the meditation space, there's just a ton of like plants in here. I'll put a meditation board as well. And honestly, I think that's going to be it. Oh, we can put one of these little orange trees in there. Oh, we can put like a couple of planters. I think that could be really cool to grow. Even like one of these vertical planters would be sick. We can have a yoga mat and a, hmm, should we have the meditation poof or should we have the, the board? I vote poof. I think it's really cute. 
Nice, beautiful, I love that. They can do yoga, meditate, and do some gardening as well. Very good stuff. I forgot that the meditation room in this build actually has a plant wall. How do we do that? I know that there's some stuff from Eco. That's kind of cool. It's just really colorful. So what I think I will do instead is use these slatty slats from Eco. Stick them on the windows here. Oh, that looks really cool, actually. How have I never thought about doing that? Hey, I love it. And then I'm gonna get these this wall bramble here and I'm just gonna place it on there so it kind of looks like it's growing on something. That doesn't look too bad. I like it better than the colors, I think. I kinda wanna delete these now. Okay, let's move on to... It's kind of funny how this is such like a wide open space. Um, I feel like I need to take up more of the space, but I don't know with what. Like the table could be moved out here a little bit and then I can put like some plants in there even though it's not really what the build has. I feel like it just, it uses more of the space and it just feels better that way. I don't know, you guys are gonna have to let me know what you think as well. Yeah, like I can put like a, a small accent table and then do a plant in the middle. I don't know, I feel like that looks a lot better. <laughs> okay, let's head into the guest bedroom. So against this wall right here, there is a mirror and a little chair. The mirror is like kind of large, but oh, maybe we should do the, mm, shoot. This one, the tiny living one instead. Ooh, or even this one from the high school pack. It's a little bit thinner. Yeah, I think that's better. And then there's like a very strange looking chair right there. I don't think I have anything like that, but actually the stool from Spa Day might work because it kind of has that like rounded butt. You know what I mean? Or does it? Am I just making that up right now? Ah, uh, yeah, see, kinda. I mean, it'll work. Okay, and then heading into the, this is a very minimalist house I'm noticing. I don't mind it. It's just different. For the bed frame, I'm using the Oak House one. I'm using a lot of Oak House stuff, actually. The bedding, once again, is just plain white. Going for Peacemaker bedding this time. Throwing some more pillows back there. And then next to the bed, there is a black end table. It is like a rounded rectangle shape, but I don't think I have a rounded rectangle end table. Rounded rectangle end table. Say that five times fast. <laughs> That's kind of cute. I like that. Okay, and on this end table, they've got like another glass vase flower. Okay, and then hanging above the end table, there's a light. It's just a little white dome. I don't know why I decided to build so late. <laughs> I'm so tired right now, but like this house, I've been thinking about building it for the past couple of days and I just really wanted to get to it, you know what I'm saying? I told myself I'm just gonna build the exterior and then I'll do the rest tomorrow and actually film. But I was like, nah, I'm just gonna do it now. <laughs> I just want to finish it. I don't know what's going on with like the texture on this lamp, but it's okay. This is the closest thing that I found. Center it above the table here. And then, let's see, actually, it might be too long. <laughs> Shoot, that'll work. Okay, next up. Ooh, you know what? This dresser that is being used in the bedroom, I feel like we have that. I feel like it came with Snowy Escape or I have a CC version. It's this, but shorter. This, oh no, you need to be smaller. No! Oh well, oh well, oh well. We can always just size it down one. Alrighty, and then we have like a really nice jute rug in here. I do have some jute rugs, even though they're very, they're very alpha. Um, I don't think I have, do I? Let me look. Oh, I do, I do have some nice ones. Okay, and then over here behind this curtain, it is a desk area. Really, really cute with a little black, little black chair. Okay, so if I put a regular desk here and I try to put the computer on the right side, it just snaps to the middle. 
So what we are going to do is I'm just going to place a single one and then behind this curtain shoe I don't know maybe like a standing lamp I'm not sure a plant all of the above yeah a little lamp that's kind of cool okay and then we just need to do this bathroom so right here we have a tub situation I honestly can't remember the last time I put a bathtub in one of my builds it's been so long Gonna add in some storage. It's getting a little cramped in here, huh? Maybe I should get rid of one of these and just put a plant right there and call it a day. Mm, maybe not. <laughs> disappears. It disappears. That's a bummer. I think in this little corner that we have here, I'm gonna add a wall shower just so there is a shower in this build as well. Actually, I think I'm gonna get rid of the storage, move the toilet over here. Yeah, I think this might be a better layout. The only thing that is left is this little entryway. So there is like in the wall shelves and I don't think I tried to find a way to do it, but I don't believe that there is in this game. So I'm just gonna use a accent table and we just need a plant and a little statue. <gasps> I always forget what something guys always 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 and this time it was about to be the fridge however i'm not going to forget i'm adding it right now <laughs> okay so i was able to squeeze in this refrigerator from snowy escape i don't hate it so that's good <laughs> okay guys here we are in the finished house we have our sim i moved in my uh makeover of morgan <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't actually I don't remember picking those shoes or that jewelry, but Yeah Let's head inside shall we? Okay. I don't know why the mailbox is right there, but All right now that that's fixed <laughs> Let's head inside shall we? Okay, so right here in the entryway, I just added an accent mirror and a couple of cute little things on the accent table here. Some keys, some books, a candle, a plant. Heading in up the step, we have the kitchen, the dining. It's super, super minimal, but I like it a lot. I hope that you guys do as well. The little TV area, little seating area. Not very much seating for guests, but hey, it's fine. <laughs> Into the bathroom we go. Really, really love all the natural woods. Oh, I love this so much. Love, 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 love. This is good. I think we need like a picture above the toilet, but other than that, got a nice shower, got a nice bathtub, everything that you need. <laughs> and then I just love, this is my favorite part for sure. Um, up the platform, we've got just like a little indoor garden here. And the bedroom. I actually might change the bedding because it's like a little bit too alpha in comparison to everything else in the build that's really like Maxis match. But oh my god, this bedroom is a vibe. And then down one more step, we have the uh, meditation room and area for more gardening. Very nice. And then heading this way, we have the guest bed. Just a little cute seating area here with a mirror. Uh, yeah, it's funny how different builds look when you use CC. Am I right? There's just like a very different vibe. Look at all the leaves falling outside. How cute. I'm so excited for fall, y'all. So stoked. And then we've got uh, just like a little uh, working station here in the corner. It's very minimal, very clean, very plain, but... I am quite obsessed with it. I hope that you guys are too. It kind of fits in the world. It doesn't look too out of place here. Come in.
Well guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna get some much needed rest. But yes, please leave me a comment. Let me know what item I forgot to include in this build because guarantee I forgot something. I hope that you guys like it. I will link the actual house tour from the Never Too Smalls channel in my description if you guys are interested in seeing it. If you're new here, I would love if you would subscribe. Come join the family. I have a bunch of Let's Plays build videos and cast videos on my channel if you are into that kind of thing. And also, uh, if you'd like, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!